Hey there, welcome to the Loose the Mirror channel. Welcome to, um, what to focus on. Nope. Oh my god. <laughs> Pick your pal, mon cherry. What to focus on. What, um, <clears throat> are you being called to focus on? A pile one, pile two, pile three, pile four. Three. I mean, <laughs> three, two, one, four. Um, what should you focus on? Okay. Uh, I will see you in your reading. Thank you so much for giving this video and yourself a chance. I hope that you can listen to your reading in its entirety as there are usually, uh, a match. There's usually maturation of the message. Um, let's get into it. Hey there, pile three. Your card is here <laughs> okay pile three um let's look at what you need to focus on this reading is a bit um intricate and you happen to be the first pile so you get to be the model for how the rest of the readings are gonna go um what is it that spirit guided you to this pile this message to focus on. I should pile three focus on spirit, please. A clear and direct message for this pile. Ugh. Okay. Uh, moonlight in reverse and wide open in the protection. There's something here about your intuition. I, I feel like Maybe for some of you, you're feeling like your intuition has been corrupted. Uh, like your intuition isn't a lot. Like you can't tell the difference between maybe paranoia, intuition. Um, fear. And everything else that intuition sort of likes to sleep with. <laughs> Let's be honest. Intuition is a bit of a hoe. Um, she dabbles with everybody. Okay, and sometimes it is difficult to discern what is that still quiet voice with what is everything else that that still quiet voice can sometimes associate with. Um, you might be someone who I was gonna say is too open to everybody else's opinions. <laughs> what up, Libras? Ow. Um, <laughs> my little Pisces. Um, leos look everybody everybody's here but you might be somebody who is inundated with a lot of information and is open to guidance um is open to how things can be knowledgeable that there are different paths and that's good that's a good trait. It's just it feels like it's muddying up your own voice. It's like you're open to everybody else's opinions, everybody else's thoughts, everybody else's journeys, everybody else's how they did this, which is not bad. I think what what I feel like what you might be being called to do here, number three, is to balance out everybody else's ideas, all the opinions that exist out there. Um all the the tried and true methods that have existed that have worked in those situations but like those are good <laughs> but there's something about all those voices sort of drowning your own your own Mm -hmm. and that makes sense um that we would be sus towards our own voices because that's dangerous if other people have done it then obviously that has made sense but i feel like i don't know if you're moving you know, I don't, I don't know if this is, um, 
allowing you to move because maybe there's a conflict or maybe it's fear that you're you're not that that's making you not move um Where's this person coming from? What have they been focusing on prior? Oh, it's not been working. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. What's not been working is the nine of wands in reverse. And what you have been focusing on prior is the page of pentacles and the four of wands in reverse. Oh, you can't see this. All right. What you've been focusing on is... going through it haven't you <laughs> this this really um you've really been trying um you're like especially on an energetic level i'm not sure about whether you know you've just been stuck in analysis paralysis and you're trying to absorb as much energy this feels like the energy of somebody who procrastinates by gathering information or by learning stuff but isn't doing stuff and you might be doing stuff i'm not gonna insult you and say you haven't um i feel like you have been it's just there's some certain other more influential actions that you have been very reluctant to take Right? Like the things that will actually get something moving is what it, you've been reluctant to act on. Because what I'm seeing here with the page um, of pentacles in reverse and the four of wands in reverse on what you have been focusing on. This could be some past stuff, how you did put in effort, you did try to do something, and it didn't work out. It, it, it may <coughs> not have worked out, may have been slow, just... Maybe even you just didn't like it. And with the Nine of Wands in reverse, it's kind of like, again, a self-trust issue. Not being really able to trust yourself. That's what's not been working. Not trusting yourself, but it's like you trusted yourself in the past and it didn't work out. So what, what's you, what's you supposed to do? If I'm speaking to you and this is your story and this resonates in the way that it is then i hear you on this one so let's see what you can focus on what can they focus on what future things can be focused on to to move pile three to a better place like to move them to their highest highest good mixed with their highest desire um just to move them towards what is what is truly the best for them what will feel the most good good like i don't want no but bs for pile three what 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 can they focus on like what are some things that they can do <laughs> there were some weavers in this there was some fire energies in this too and some earth energies look everybody's here but someone who doesn't trust themselves oh my god how can i forget earth energies you know what everybody's here but because moonlight is also very watery as it's being like intuition and the moon um doesn't matter everybody's here what can they focus on Okay. I want to 
take this away, but it's not letting me energetically. What you can focus on, Pile 3, is Justice and the Eight of Cups. So, in this Eight of Cups in particular, we have what I believe this next card is, which is Letting Go. Yeah, coming apart. And I think that's why I was getting the inkling I kind of, this deck is telling you a story. Um, letting go, but with this I also see coming back. <laughs> this is the after tarot, a gifted deck. As, oh, these are all gifted decks. Um, I've had the enchanted map for a while, but... This is like the revised version. Um, with this Eight of Cups, and then we have, of course, the Hanged Man here at the bottom of the deck. With this Eight of Cups, I'm really getting a revisit, a revisiting of what did feel good about this past stuff that you experienced. And maybe like honoring it, honoring what you did take a dive for and therefore honoring, you know, your past choices. This isn't to say that you were right or you were wrong, just honoring that you did think that that was the right thing to do. And what could you have done differently while still honoring the things that you did do right in the past? This looks like, like almost like a phantom experience with in the traditional eight of cups it's this man we see walking away from the eight of cups and in this one this lady has come to these eight cups and has picked one up and knocking over these other two and it looks like she's grading them she's looking at what this man drank or left behind or what have you to see to see something to see just to, to see to examine you know, so that she can properly boing herself back to it's like it's almost like a spiritual self is looking back at an, an a, a place and your body is moving forward and the spiritual part of you is looking at what did feel good, what was the benefit of whatever you were doing before what was nice about that and really examining even the parts that weren't so just examining the whole situation without too much of a judgment with a detachment right examining the past with a detachment to grade it to, to see how it went in order to reconcile your intuition with what is also being tried and true in the real world of your project of the you know your career your project your job your business um your your passion your desire um with the justice coming out here i definitely i know we've we've definitely like foo-fooed it being fair with yourself because here with breaking your own boundaries, um, not allowing, like, just, ugh, being fair with yourself, <laughs> being fair with your higher self and your present and past self, being fair with the part of you that thinks it's better than your past self and the past part of you that did have good points to it. You know, it, it just feels like two parts of you that need to reconcile. That a judgment needs to be made, but a fair judgment. A fair judgment on what you really need to do moving forward. Because you need to move forward. Like, you need to move forward now. Pile three. With the hanged man at the bottom of the deck, this clearly shows me where you're at. You're still in this sort of in-between space, not really moving. We did discuss that, where it's difficult, like you're not really moving. You are, I'm not insulting you, you are moving, right? But there's an element here of like, 
not making those choices that will signify a move you know research is great but it's not it's i read this in um in the book i think amy kohler i don't remember but she she was talking about writing and she said doing the thing is the thing like it's the doing of the thing that's the thing not the planning not the research it's sitting there and actually starting to write it's sitting there and actually starting to like go you know sign up for the courses and go to the classes to actually practice your craft to do the thing is the doing of the thing not the preparation of the thing um so yeah i feel like when you (laughs) do these sort of like spiritual emotional uh thinkings or going back things or whatever that is part of yourself needs to do to to really recalibrate yourself you'll nourish your physical being and be able to move in a direction that is just more fair now for some of you practically this could mean um a court case um looking at what's legal looking at what's um and not legal versus illegal, but just looking at what's like commonly done in your space, looking at what is fair, right? If you're looking to charge for your services or looking to move on your desires, how can you balance that out with being fair in your real world? Um, clarify the justice here for me in terms of what else she's bringing to the table. The death. Yeah. <laughs> that's not the death i'm sorry this is the four of pentacles it's just death is like literally here oh my guy um and the, the, i always wonder how i shuffle when the same card is still at the bottom of the deck sometimes anyway um with <laughs> the four of pentacles the four of pentacles i think what you need to focus on is moving on my friend like you've got to move you you've got to break away from this and this you got to take an action you got to take a step um you have to separate yourself from what didn't work out what didn't go the way you had hoped it would and yeah the seven of pentacles my guy is walking away with what he could you know um let's look at your guidance we have the hawk spirit this hawks take flight let spirit be your guide so you picked this card this is your pile three card that's the hawk spirit oh your guidance in this is thusly oh my god i have makeup on this page (laughs) flying high above the landscape the hawk sees both the big picture and the small details amen to that observes the rain and the pond as well as the cloud and doesn't miss anything when Hawk Spirit arrives, you are called to pay attention to the messages from Spirit that can appear anywhere in any form. Listen to your intuition and keep your eyes open for synchronicities. This is definitely that. Listen to your intuition and keep your eyes open for synchronicities, the meaningful coincidences. Hawk Spirit asks you not to dismiss the sign that Spirit is sending to guide you. Lately, have you been hearing the same word or song or coming across the same symbol here, there, and in the strangest places? Perhaps you hear a song on the radio with just the right lyric pertaining to your query. Or you begin to notice uncanny billboards, license plates, or other places where repetitive numbers or words show up for you to notice. Pay attention to the animals that appear for you and connect with their symbolism. Spirit wants to communicate and reaches out again and again. When a hawk spirit appears, it is a sign to listen. That's awesome. Because you are wide open to listen. So if you've been getting inklings in your world to, that are telling you it's time to move, it's time to do something, it's time to really do the kind of reflection that is necessary in order to move forward um because there's a guide here that wants to take you to where they want to take you and there's two birds or there's two winged creatures here we have the owl and we have a butterfly so 
I mean, and you, this kind of looks like a butterfly too, if you look at it. Um, what's underneath here? Strength. Aw, uh, you've got this in the bag. You've got this in the bag, my friend. I believe you'll be able to focus on the way forward. And don't forget to pray. Don't forget to reconnect with spirit in a way that um, makes sense to you. Whether that's prayer, whether that's... I don't know, meditation or whether that's whatever it is for you because that's going to help you focus on the things that you need to focus on um, which is the cur I don't want to say the correct messages but the appropriate messages that you personally need to take amidst all the choices amidst all the different methods that you could take at the very least it'll help you get started the first thing you do may not be the last. It may, it may not be the thing that takes you there. It's all about evolution. But you can't evolve if you don't start. You can't evolve if you don't move. You can't evolve if you're stagnant. And the more you move, the more you fail fast, the more you try out different things, the more you figure out what your groove is and what makes sense for you. So that by the time you get to where you want to go, you're ready. You know, because you've tried so many things. By the time you're getting the attention that you wanted, you've been through so much that you know how to read what you need to read. You know how to read the people, the situations, the places, because my friend, you've been through it. So let Hawk Spirit guide you and trust that Spirit is there to guide you. It's, it's going to help you cut through all the noise that, well, all the, all the advice and guidance that is good, but may not be suited to you or direct you to the guidance that is good for you or to get pieces from it right so i wish you everything my friend um keep your light on good luck i'll see you next time here on the channel right right great i'll see you in the comments let me know how this reading went for you and what it is that you're working on i'm really really curious about that um yeah all right my friend keep your light on and good luck bye bye hey there pile two hey there pile two um pile two this is your guidance card <laughs> on what to focus on. I'm also gonna pull what you need to focus on from the Enchanted Map Tarot deck. I want pizza. Mm, I just tasted like the cheese and the sauce and a little bit of the crust and the garlic. Mm. I would love a pizza. Oh my God. That sounds so good right now. What should my buddy here focus on? What should Pal 2 focus on? I do recommend Pal 2 listening to the reading all the way to the end. Um, just because the message might take some time to mature in your spirit. And also as we as you speak through it, it might be something that you need to hear in a way that you're not used to um, thinking about. So... This is great. At the bottom of the deck, you have home. Okay, you have goblins <laughs> in the protection, and you have ghost lands. Oh boy, <laughs> these readings are not, um, these readings are heavy hitters, man. I was not expecting some real deep messages, but of course, here we are. I'm going to read goblins to you and then we'll go from there, okay? It's often difficult to deal with someone else's issues because they impact your own. No one is perfect, but in this case, you're particularly vulnerable to being manipulated. Don't take this world personally. When the goblin's card arrives reversed, it's a sign to step back with detachment. Don't let other people's stuff lead you into reacting from an old wound. Love yourself unconditionally. Set boundaries and your goblins will fall asleep. Love is the only answer. Okay. <laughs> what is... That's a little weird way to end it. Ghost Lands is... Um, a message that... <sighs> it talks about time. It talks about the present, the future, the, the past. 
And perhaps you were worried about the future. Worried about how maybe you weren't there for somebody or you want to be there for somebody. Perhaps it's your family, your children, your spouse, your whatever, friends. I don't know what you're doing. Business associate. And there's just a feeling of some shame and guilt in what you want, what choices are before you and what to make in terms of those choices, (laughs) as in which choices to make. Loose English. And that is a great place to make choices that may not fully honor you. Guilt is a hell of a is a hell of a drug. Shame is a hell of a drug. Shame is helpful, right? Guilt and shame are helpful. They're helpful feelings that we we need as human beings to function in society. Um, these are emotions that are completely helpful to the advancement of like human human nature. When someone does something wrong, they should feel guilty. They should feel ashamed. Um, I think that's appropriate because that helps curb their own behavior. That's their own self, not recalibration, but their own self policing. Um, it's just sometimes <sighs> we <laughs> like we will still feel guilt and shame over things that aren't helpful and this could be one of those times where you are finding yourself in a position where perhaps what you want to do versus what's right for others is juxtaposed juxtaposed are butting heads and it's difficult to to gauge um what choices you want to make now we're going to go deeper this is just surface level mess some some surface level messages um we're going to pull from tarot to see what it is that you have been focusing on as it relates to this and what you should not focus on and then also what you should focus on Whenever you set your sights too far ahead, you run the risk of losing your footing. For rarely do the present and future match up exactly on the map of your life. The future has no substance right now. It is a place that has no grounding as of yet. You can't live there yet. You can't live there yet. You can't take measured steps toward a goal or a dream. These steps are important now. The same goes for nostalgia. You can look into the past wistfully and remember beautiful moments or revisit lessons learned. However, you can't live there, nor can you go back and change what was. Yesterday is gone forever. Live fully in the present. The now is the most powerful place to put your attention. Its magic reaches out in every direction further than the heart and soul can see. The future has no substance right now, neither does the past. But clearly, it does, because goblins are here reminding you of what you should do, and what you did do, and what you didn't do. So it's difficult to deal with other people's issues, and other people's goals, and our responsibility to them, and our obligations to them. And that's something that you're really, um, that's affecting you right now, in in terms of what you want to do. So, I'm going to shuffle and see... What deck is this? Oh my god. What you've been focusing on... The Five of Wands and... I'm sorry, the Five of Swords in the reverse. The Lovers in the reverse. Let's do one more. And, okay, the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. The Queen of Pentacles. So this definitely has something to do with somebody. Or at least your sense of duty, your sense of responsibility to others or something else or a cause. Um, oh boy, my friend. That's tough. 
definitely a choice that is difficult or a choice that was difficult. Um, a choice maybe that you may not have even made with this here. The Five of Swords. We have somebody who... It feels like you, you may not have defended yourself in the past. Like you may not have spoken for yourself in the past when it comes to a certain relationship in your life. And that keeps you stuck and definitely affects the kinds of choices that you're making now because of that shame or guilt, right? Those things are circling around in your head and it's difficult for you to focus on the now and how perhaps you have changed or grown or how it has affected you because it still has a lot of purchase in your being, in your psyche. If you're someone who may have done something for money in the past, right? Maybe you're at a job and you had to make choices that were against yourself. You 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 might be wondering that that might be again something that's affecting you, especially with the emperor here as well. <laughs> but look how cute he is. Look, he's such a cutie. He's so happy. He's got a little lamb around his neck. I think, I feel like you may have thought that this was going to be helpful for your future. Certain choices that you've made or in the past or choices that you didn't make or choices that you didn't really like to make. Mm. Let's clarify this a bit more. Yeah. Mm, a short-lived victory, my friend. You're really worried about the past. It could be the past between a relationship with somebody, whether you made the right choice or not. I'm not here to tell you whether you made the right choice or not, but that's definitely something that you were focusing on in the past. But the thing is, I feel like... You may have thought you were making the right choice. But it may have been something to ease you temporarily. You know? Um, but you believed it was something that was going to be for your longevity. I think you really believed that. But then it turned out to not be something that... was for the long haul or maybe it was just a relationship that you had in the past that didn't work out due to you know <laughs> some stuff um and you sort of still continuously crucify yourself over it let's look at what went wrong Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh, <laughs> the Emperor. I don't understand how I shuffle. How is that card still at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, definitely things went wrong, though, with the Five of Pentacles. Um, There was a trouble in this dynamic, in this relationship, or this... I mean, this has something to do with people, for sure. Right? My goodness. It didn't work out. I think a decision that you you made or didn't make or tried not to make something in in those arenas. It it I just think it just made you feel more alone than you thought it would. Just so much conflict in that. Let's look at what to focus on in this thing. Let's move from that. 
I can definitely see why this goblins is here though. There's someone that you are and that your relationship with them, your dynamic with them that you're her, her, cru crucifying yourself over. Again, it could be family member, it could be a lover or a lover that never was. It could be a friend. It could be anybody. Queen of Pentacles to me feels like a mother. Um, uh, feminine energy. Page of Cups also feels like that, but in terms of like a feminine energy, but Page of Cups again could be just a boy. It doesn't matter. A child. So there's definitely like some family stuff here, even with the the jesus with the ten of cups family i'm getting um even with the son family child uh, mother or a parent with that emperor at the bottom of the deck so it could be family right heavy family but if this is love then um in the terms of like romantic then all right but there's a relationship that um influences how you want to move and how you view yourself or at least in this like small section of your life that spirit is saying hey focus on this what should they focus on what what what, what for the highest good of pile two what can pile two <laughs> funny pile two what can pile two excuse me focus on for their highest good the highest good of all the highest good of pile two their greatest good for what will make sense for them, what will make Pile 2 happy, what will add to Pile 2's happiness, and just like the greatest outcome, Spirit. Like, what what is that? What can they focus on? Oh my gosh, it fell to the ground. Amazing. One more? You got one more in you? Okay, we have a Six of Cups in the reverse. Um, I'm gonna put these somewhere else. I know this is, you can't see them, but bleh. Bottom of the deck, we have the Justice in reverse. Oh my God. You can focus on the Knight of Swords. The Eight of Swords. The Six of Cups in the reverse. And the Justice in the reverse. <sighs> abandoning the past is not going to be easy <laughs> right um justice in the reverse to me, reads, I always assume that the people I'm reading for are innocent. <laughs> like, that seems to be how I read, right? I assume that you are an innocent party, that you try to do the right thing, not just for you, but for everyone. And so when I, when I say certain things, it comes from that perspective. It's just, an, it's just a at base assumption. I don't assume that the person I'm talking to is a bad guy. So when I see justice in reverse, how I read that is you might have to focus on doing things that you don't think are fair because you are someone who is regretting something from the past. You're someone who's ashamed of something from the past or some relationship dynamic is important to you and the choices that you make lean on these people or these energies and there's something here for sure from the six of cups about moving on from that i'm shaking sorry that's why the card is moving <laughs> i shake sometimes um fuck it, it you moving on from the past moving on from the nostalgia um moving moving away from the trappings of what you think um I think it's because I was like pressing on my nerve. So now I'm not shaking anymore. <laughs> Moving on from what's kept you prisoner. Moving on from 
your own thoughts with yourself and your responsibilities and rather your thoughts about those responsibilities. This isn't a reading that says F everyone, even though we have some pretty violent images in the Knight of Swords and the Justice in Reverse. What I feel like this is is, is, a, is a sense of self-preservation. But for the type of person I'm reading for, if the type of energy I'm reading for is correct, this is a person that cares about people and this is going to be really difficult. This is a person that cares about the people in their life and this isn't going to be an easy decision to make. And that's why the justice sort of shows up in the reverse is what to focus on for your highest good because this is going to be you having a really hard time and possibly getting help to help you make unfair decisions towards the people that you care about in your life or the people that affect your life when really it's not all that unfair. You're just standing up for yourself finally. You're finally taking ugh, the choice to go your way aggressively. And this, when I touch this, this does not feel like you are going to be merkin people, okay, in a spiritual sense. This feels like you are stabbing the parts of you that hold you back because the Knight of Swords is aggressive. He moves fast. He's on a fast adventure and nobody's going to stop him. And sometimes it feels like the Knight of Swords is moving with a quickness that is somebody who's running away or running as fast as they can so that their brain doesn't catch up to their body. You know what I mean? This is somebody who, if they're going to, you know, skydive, they want to do it first. They want to get out there and do it because if I see other people start doing it, I might stop myself. You know what I mean? That type of personality where, or that type of thing where if I don't do this immediately or do this fast, I will never do it. I will hold myself back. So I feel like this holding back is possibly a threat to yourself. Oh my God. Or you actually going through and, you know, injuring, oh my God, a part of yourself that you believe would hold you back from going and um that's rough okay that's rough um sometimes we do have to have a stern conversation with ourselves and draw the boundary with ourselves and say hey the past is the past we did what we did we didn't do what we didn't do and we we want to do things differently and um yeah that's tough so what you need to focus on my friend we have some of that what your guidance is is whale spirit trust the great mystery oh my god okay let's look at what it says i love that it came up in the upright for you because at least we get to end on an even better note whale spirit is an ancient creature who was here at the beginning of time and who has seen everything felt everything and heard everything that has ever transpired on this planet. So you both been through it. In the hidden realms where all things must gather before manifesting into form, well spirit is the keeper, seeing the soul of the whole world from the deepest waters of the coldest seas. When whale spirit appears, it is a reminder that there is a great mystery that you must accept without intellectually trying to understand it. Wow. Some things cannot be known by the mind, only experienced through the heart, through intuition, and through the peripheral senses that part the invisible veil separating the visible world from the great manifesting consciousness in the hidden realms. Now is the time for you to immerse yourself in the great mystery of spirit and to trust that within the invisible, what you can't see now are the seeds of your intentions being tended to by the angels. And that's really nice because that seems to be that type of help that is coming to help break you from the goblins of your mind that are holding you back from living in the present and doing for now what might help affect a better future for yourself. Um, this is awesome. This is a great message for you and I'm happy for you. So what you need to focus on, my friend, is um, the unknown, the great mystery. <laughs> but really moving yourself 
period, moving yourself, um, moving yourself away from the feelings and stuff that weigh you down to not even making any kinds of decisions or, or new decisions or movements um, in your world. I think it's more so facing yourself and having that real conversation. Okay, um, let me know how this went for you in the comments. If you enjoyed it, amazing. That's great. Um, if not, feel free to dislike the video. Thank you for staying here till the end and giving the message a chance to sink in and settle in yourself. I wish you everything, my friend. Keep your light on and good luck. Bye-bye. Hey there, Pile 4. Hey there, Pile 4. So, we're going to be looking <laughs> at what to focus on for you. Um, I do encourage you to listen to your reading until the very end of your reading because um, you might get a message that you weren't expecting or something richer and deeper okay okay cool so you have deep freeze and coming to life the top of the deck you have into the unknown in the protection as well as compass so you're going somewhere or you want to go somewhere and it's not going as fast as you would like and that sucks that is really annoying okay um here's the thing i feel like you might be in a preparation phase loose i've been in a preparation phase for forever i'm so sorry it may be that things aren't ready for you on the outside. You might be ready on the inside, right? Um, you might be ready on the inside and the unknown that you might need to really get acquainted with isn't so much taking a risk in the, in the outer world. It might be more so taking a seat, you know? Excuse me, deep freeze in the protection is not a message I play with because I this was my first deck ever um this is a gifted deck but it's the new rendition of a deck that I have and deep freeze used to come out every day like repeatedly the same card um when it just wasn't time for me to move when it was just my winter time and eventually things started to change and eventually I saw things started to change in my real world so I really respect certain cards in this deck. And when Deep Freeze comes out, that's immediately your cue to hands off. However, coming to life is nice because this tells me that this freeze is thawing. It's almost like, well, I don't know why it wouldn't come out in the upright, to be honest with you. But I feel like things will happen for you almost all at once because of what has happened in the Deep Freeze. Okay, so... What you need to focus on is is a is a little complex. I feel like it's preparation, to be honest with you, which is so funny because a lot of the other messages have been like, "You've done enough. You've prepared enough. That's just procrastination. Act. Do." But this one is like, "No, you need to prepare. If you think about winter, things are dormant, but..." It's preparing for like the spring in a way. It's prepare. It's preparing for that immediate like. Oh, now there's leaves on the trees. It's it's just so weird. You don't notice that spring is happening. You don't notice that there's buds on the trees, but they almost bloom all at once, all together, the next day, all in like one day, and all of a sudden, it's no longer winter time. It's no longer this dead dormant leafless lifeless season it's this new thing so to me this is a really beautiful message what you need to focus on is that preparation stage you have two pieces of guidance this is gonna be a deep reading i should move faster <laughs> that preparation stage of knowing that you're slowly coming 
to life, knowing that what you need to focus on, the thing that you've been, mm, I'm going to say wanting, but the thing that you've been hoping for is coming to fruition. It's coming. It's just going to come slowly, but it's also going to feel like it came all at once. But while you're in it and waiting for that pot to boil, it's going to feel hella slow. It's going to feel hella slow. I'm going to read Deep Freeze to you. Nothing you can do right now will amount to anything substantial, no matter how much you try to push, manipulate, or cajole. Life wants you to take a break. You need to do this now, lest you become exhausted and be forced to rest. What you need will be there for you when you emerge in the springtime. For now, winter has its own ideas. Wait for signs of spring. And signs of spring will be coming. You want me to read that for you? Sure enough. It just feels like the world isn't ready for you. The world isn't... Things haven't clicked into place. Because I feel like you might be ready. Or you feel like you are. <laughs> which I don't think you are. But like on a spiritual level, I don't think you're ready. I think you think you're ready. But if you had what you wanted right now, you would be floundering around. Oh, blah, 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 I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. And that's not an insult. That's just like human nature. Like the thing that you want, it finally comes through. And you're like, I don't know what to do. And it's like, oh, come on. Um, this feels like again i'll say you might think you're ready and you might want this now and it could be but what this seems like is the world isn't ready for you yet like things have not aligned in the natural world for you to have the thing that you might be wanting you want it to match right you want the world to be ready for you right to be able to sponsor you to be able to hold you to be able to to be with you you want that so you want to give that externalness the time that it needs to be, get ready for you, to have a place for you. Um, and I don't feel like that's been done yet, but it is being prepared. And you are also being prepared, or at least you're encouraged to start preparing yourself because it's coming. So do you have the clothes? Do you have, you know, the right speech? Do, are, you, are you ready? Are you preparing yourself? You want it now, but how are you preparing yourself? Like, you're not ready. You don't want to be caught naked and afraid, you know? Um... Coming to life says, when you look at your life, can you see how you've grown and evolved over time? Perhaps you've shed skins and identities and created new ones, or at the very least matured in your ideas about yourself and the world you inhabit. You know things take time, and spirit's timetable is rarely in sync with your own. This card indicates that a long-held dream is beginning to show signs of life. You must not try to coax it along or shape it according to your desires. Spirit knows the best form for the manifestation of this dream, and you can become even better than you could possibly imagine. Amen to that, baby. I pray for that to happen for you. Now is a time for reverence and awe. Allow the contours of your path to be carved by the hands of the divine. All you have to do is show up. Don't push this. What you need to focus on is focusing on trusting God and the universe and also preparing yourself, right? Meet spirit halfway. Do what you need to do and trust that spirit is doing its half. Shoot, I needed this message today. What have they been focusing on? Oh, I love that for you. <laughs> the nine of wands. And the nine of, oh man. Okay, so you've been focusing on the nine of wands, the nine of swords, and the knight of pentacles. My goodness, did I say pentacles? I meant swords, because you're trying to move, you're trying to push, you're trying to cajole, you're trying to get it going, you're trying to get it moving. Let's go, you're trying to rally the troops, but baby, the troops aren't ready. They haven't even eaten. Look at this guy. He hasn't eaten, he's looking malnourished, he hasn't slept, and you're like, let's go, let's go. And it's like, bro. We're still sleeping. Our swords aren't even ready. Like, there's only one of us. We're not ready to build a barrier to, like, we, we, we're not ready. So, and that's not bad. Of course you've been wanting to move. Of course you want to move. Are you kidding me? I don't know how long you've been in this deep freeze for. I don't know how, your what your personality is. Of course you want to move. I do not blame you, my friend. I do not blame you, Paul Four. I don't. I really don't. You're so ready to graduate you're so ready to move forward. This is a nine. These are two nines. This is the knight, the fastest mother, the fastest dude in the deck. And at the bottom of your deck, you have the fool. Like, you are so ready. 
you are so ready and you're tired of smelling the roses like you're ready to jump you're ready to go you you want this the nice thing about the fool is it is he is trying to stop and smell the rose he is trying to do this but i feel like even with this you are doing the preparations i don't want to insult you and say you have not i feel like you have been doing the preparations and for some of you this is a message that you just need to hear and say things are coming they're coming in due time it's gonna take some time and in the meantime time 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 Take the time that you need to take the time that you need to, to to polish yourself up to polish anything else up so that when spring comes you know almost that turnover is immediate you'll be good to go you won't be scrambling too much there will be a scramble there will always be a scramble but you you'll have what you needed right and i love this for you with the fool here because it feel, it tells me that you have been stopping to gather what you need and you have made some time for play. You have made some time for enjoying the little things that have come your way. Um, this is great. I love this for you, what you've been doing, what you've been focusing on, trying to prepare yourself. That's great before you take the leap. Or at least the world has been trying to distract you with other things so that it keeps you at bay while it's getting ready over there. Like the cliff ain't prepared yet. I like this too with the Ace of Swords. Um, but maybe... Mm, no, I'll leave that alone. <sighs> with the three, of, the three of Cups in the reverse. This, this, this is preparation. Like, yes, there is some play, but don't overindulge in play. You're wanting to be ready to go, for sure. I mean, these are two nines coming out here, okay? These are penultimates. You're ready for the ultimates. You're ready to put in the work. Excuse me. You're ready to stop thinking about this. You're ready to put the thing to bed. Um, that's what you've been focusing on. And trying to keep keep up the good fight. Let's look at what you can focus on. Or what you should. Spirit, Lord, God, for the highest good of Pile 4. For the highest good of Pile 4. For the highest good of them, the situation, their project, their life, their business, their event, this dynamic, whatever this is for them. For the things they are focusing on. What is it that they should focus on what is it that they would get the best results for them and for the world a lot more for them but you know what is it that they can focus on the highest good That's awesome. Taking a step back. Taking a step back from pushing forward. Taking a step back. Um, amazing. Oh, beautiful. Oh, this is great. <laughs> yeah. Taking a step back. And, 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 oh my god, that's another eight. So, definitely this taking a step back. Um, this is so funny. Okay. Firstly, this is the nine of wands and with the eight coming out, the best thing to focus on for your future is taking a step back, right? Going back to the eight, to the eights, going back to the eights of working on your passion, sending, you know, thinking about your passion, setting your sights, focusing on what you need to focus on. And then we have the eight of pentacles as well. I much prefer the eight of pentacles than the eight of swords. <laughs> okay. I'm glad the Eight of Swords did not come out to reflect this taking a step back, honing your craft, working on your craft, doing what you need to do, looking at what you've done so far, and and, and being happy in it. Um, because, yeah, the, this is the moment after. So with the Eight of Pentacles here, he's, he's finished. I see you looking at what you've worked on. What you need to focus on is look at what you've worked on. Look at your offerings. Look at what you can tweak within the stuff that is in your wheelhouse, the stuff that you offer, the stuff that you put forward, the stuff that you invest in. Look at what you can do on your end and set your sights for what you might want to do in the future, making that plan, right? That eight month plan or whatever that looks like for you. Especially with the Queen of Pentacles, oh my God. Making, 
making sure and you know reflection too because both of these pentacle cards the queen and the eight is a reflective point the more you reflect and see what your offerings are what it is that you have to give what you bring to the table those kinds of things the more you're able to set your sights on what it is that you need to set your sights on and make a plan for at the bottom of the deck what's also funny with eight eight nine nine night is eight eight night the king of the knight of cups now he is <laughs> he's being a little bit of a lush here um this is enjoying truly i think for you what you need to focus on looking at how far you have come looking at what has come to life so far i think this mentioned this as well look at how far you've come look at what you've been able to accomplish and really just reveling in that the queen of pentacles she don't be doing this a lot she doesn't sit back and go mm, i did good right um but also when you look at that you can then see what you liked and what you can improve upon what you can emphasize um what works and what doesn't work sort of revisiting what you are doing what you offer what you bring to the table and what you've experienced your, yourself um that's awesome i love that for you especially with the knight he's a dreamer like this <laughs> this dude is taking an adventure that is set in his dreams this is planning in a way but dreaming up a dream of 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 what you might want so taking some time to dream up that dream taking some time to give spirit ideas not that spirit needs ideas but you know what i mean like it's like a manifesting journey that the knight of cups is is to me feels like he's taking here he's taking um a dream a dream path you know what would you like to happen and when you dream that dream you'll go well for me to be able to you know have my own building or for me to be able to move across whatever for me to marry a foreigner i don't know what your thing is <laughs> i don't know what your thing. i really don't know what your focus is on here but you'll get to see where your holes are what you're missing if your dream is to have you know 50 clients come in all at once or have 20 clients a day or whatever uh like what does that actually look like you know and are you ready to handle that if it happened now what are some things that you would need to start looking at if it's about hiring new people then what would your criteria be do, are you able to chunk down what you do in order to even develop a job description that's very you know people focused with the knight of cups it could also be spending more time with the people in your life you know um opening yourself up and focusing on on romance maybe <laughs> I mean, if you're watching this you probably focus on romance already but going on an adventure that is close to your heart that helps your 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 heart health um that's amazing wow so you here have badger spirit and peacock spirit as your guidance through this journey uh badger spirit says be fearless and bold and peacock spirit says let it shine now peacocks here is they stand out you're going to stand out okay your guidance is to stand out this work that you're doing this appraising yourself appraising what you do is going to be seen so you make sure you see it first from all the different angles and all the different perspectives so you can aim your sights that when you finally go public, when you finally have the thing that you've been desiring that's coming into fruition, you look clean AF because you will be, people will be looking at you. Nobody can avoid a peacock. They're pretty. <laughs> oh, I just cracked my back a little bit. That was nice. Badger spirit rejoices at your persistence and commitment to what is true for you. Whatever you seek, your tenacity and faith in your partnership with spirit is paying off and the results will soon coalesce into the form in your world. Amazing. It's coming, honey. Wow. 
The gift of badger spirit is the surety that taking a risk now and being courageous, fearless, and bold will yield wondrous results. This is a time to harness your will. Harness your will. And apply it consistently to the pursuit of your dreams. What were we talking about? The Knight of Cups and our, our boy here. Know that no matter the temporary outer conditions, you will manifest your desires in divine timing and in the form that spirit deems best for you. It said do not hold on to the form, right? This is the same deck author though. <laughs> Badger Spirit says you have what it takes to get what you want, so assert yourself. Be fearless and bold, shining your light as your purpose calls you into the world. New relationships are also given a green light now. Don't be afraid to make the first move. Badger loves you. Loves your brave and mighty heart. All right. <laughs> Meanwhile, Peacock here. I want to see you, Peacock. When is the last time you shook a tail feather and shined your light for all to see? I don't think you do with that three of cups in the reverse. There was something about that. It, it felt like you were either de-socializing yourself, which, okay, maybe, or like maybe overindulging in certain things, but that could have been you not really able to like be seen or being out there in the world or have these reunions, some, uh, anyway. Peacock spirit. Within each of us is a peacock spirit yearning for expression, and you are called now to show the world the gorgeous creature you are. For your manifestation of spirit, come out from the shadows, peacock spirit says, and show your true colors so that others may be inspired to express their own exquisiteness. Dance as if you remember that you are made of stardust and grace, filled with life force, energy, and sparkling light. You are a channel for divine love, and your dance is one of a kind. Catch the light and help it shimmer and dance in celebration of your good fortune. Of being right here, right now. Spirit wants you to be joyful so that others may get up and dance along with you. And they will be dancing along with you because this is a dancer's pose, baby. What is this, a plie? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you got it. Look, my friend, I wish you luck when you pop off and you start going public and live or whatever this is for you um i hope that you will uh let me know because i wish you so much success in whatever this is for you okay all right my friend keep me lit on and good luck bye bye mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. hey there paul one hey there paul one how are you my friend so we are going to be looking at what to focus on for you and i would encourage you to watch the message <laughs> up until it ends because there may be some the maturation of the message might hit you later or it might be something that you need to hear because you are here um and so if it's not making sense, I'd say stay the course just because it might be something that your spirit needs to hear and not so much your conscious mind. Okay, so we have coming apart and one ring circus. So you might be leaving a situation or going out on your own and that's a bit scary. <sighs> If you think that the sun won't rise without you, then it's time to change. Oh, personality shift? Perhaps you believe no one will be there to help you, or you expect that you have to do all the work, emotional or otherwise. This is a fear-based idea and only serves to alienate you from others by taking away their right to participate. Receiving the One Ring Circus card in the reverse indicates the misuse of power. Give it up. Let go of the need to control. Wow. How the wind blows and let others play their part. You don't need to be invincible, have all the answers, or be the savior. Things will get done if you step down out of your own way. Yet another meaning for this card suggests that someone else may be trying to control you. This needs to be addressed. Don't be afraid to set a boundary, 
This is a wonderful step to interdependence. Consider the example of two trees planted side by side, sharing the sunlight equally, neither overshadowing the other. Coming apart. Um, I'll read that to you. It's a sign to put an end to what is no longer working for you. Has a commitment been broken? Perhaps you need to break a promise or change course because you took on more than you can handle. This is a perfect time to reassess your goals and values. Are your actions in alignment with what you believe in? Have you created a partnership that is not mutually beneficial? Separation, dissolution, and dispersion are all in focus now. If someone wishes to break away from you, don't chase the relationship out of a sense of fear. The price you'll pay will not be worth the price. Separation brings good fortune. So it's clearly something that you need to separate yourself from. It could be a belief that you are the sun, moon, and stars, and things won't go well without you. And um, that's tough. It could be that you don't want to... You don't want something to end. <laughs> like You don't want something to stop. It's difficult to let go of something because then it won't be yours or it'll be gone. You know? You want to control how it moves, how it breathes, how it feels. But you might have to give that up. And what you need to focus on could be the separation from this dynamic with yourself, with others, or how certain things in your life have gone their own way. Or have gone off without you. And oh, that's such a hard pill to swallow. But let's 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 go a little bit deeper. What has pile one been focusing on in relation to this? Okay, what should they stop focusing on? Queen of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Oh boy. Five of Pentacles, the Temperance, the Ten of Pentacles. Um, for some of you, this really does feel like a relationship that didn't work out. And that's what you were focusing on before, trying to give it stability, trying to provide for it, trying to be present to it. Um, but sort of doing that, not for yourself, but like, I don't know how to explain how I mean that. It's doing that for you in that if you stop doing it, the other party wasn't doing it. You know, like if you stopped, the whole thing fell apart because you were doing it for yourself in that you were the relationship. The other party may not have been participating um, in the building of the relationship. So you were basically building a relationship for yourself um, because they weren't doing it. You know what I mean? Like... That's a story of what you have been focusing on, trying to build stability where there it, it's hard. It's like trying to build a house on water. Um, and what you may have been offering may have been really good, but it just wasn't the right environment, wasn't the right time, wasn't the right person, wasn't reciprocated, wasn't ready, um, wasn't the the appropriate situation timing person event place um and perhaps even trying to rebuild yourself right 
for some of you. Now, what you shouldn't focus on or what you, yeah, it is this queen of wands. So it could have been a, a person. Um, it could, I mean, really, it's a, it's a person, right? A very, as they say, an attractive person, an alluring person to you. Um, someone who may have been doing their own thing. You know, the queen of wands is quite independent and she's focused on this kitty cat here and this sunflower. Someone who you may have wanted their attention, their affection, but um, their attention and affection is perhaps elsewhere. Um, if this is a third party situation and you know that this person that you were dealing with either had an active third party, as in, you know, a cheatation, or this person had a former lover um, that you were measuring yourself up against. This person is showing up here in this reading in the form of the Queen of Wands, and that's something that you shouldn't focus on. So if you're finding yourself in a situation where, oh, this person, if only they can get over their past, or if only they could leave this other person, this other person is not good for them, if only they could stop thinking about this other person, that is like, I don't want to say it's none of your business, but it's not for you to be focusing on is what this is saying here. Okay. Um, it's just not for you to really be focusing on. Um, moving on from a relationship, this looks like what you've been focusing on has been trying to build stability on something that is just not going. Um, something that may not have been ideal. Um, and perhaps what you shouldn't focus on anymore is how much you wanted this to be ideal. You know, that dream, that desire, that passion, that sort of misdirected, um, vision and really believing that no I can do this no I can I can have this when <sighs> there's something about it that just isn't right let's let's see a little bit more about this that's not to say that you shouldn't have really it just it, with the with the queen of wands here it just feels like also, if, if I look at it in, in this different story of where you had a passion um, of something that you wanted to build, something you wanted to create, and it's almost like that passion isn't something that for some people you, sh you may need to get some space from, to separate from, because you're thinking about how it used to feel and how you wanted it, but it's just not working clarify the queen of wands in terms of what they shouldn't focus on anymore um the two of wands and the five of swords so it may have in reverse the f it may have worked in the past right there may have been something that may have made sense and um <laughs> three of cups so cute uh, look at these queens. First of all, slay, honeys. Ew. Yes. Um, what was I saying? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, at the top of the deck, we have the sun in reverse. So, thanks. Bringing us back on topic. Thanks, spirit. It feels like what, what you shouldn't be focusing on is a thing that may have felt good in the past. Um... It just is giving me past energy with this two of two of wands here holding the world. It looks like something there was a dream that you thought was going to make sense, that you thought was gonna be it, something that you thought was gonna be um good, and maybe it was at some point. Maybe there was a victory there, but it wasn't sustainable. Um tell me about this ten of pentacles. Clarify that. Oh my gosh, the hanged man. Look at this mother. He's not even... <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure you had the full story. I, I think you had a skewed vision about something. Or you've been having a skewed vision about something. It's almost like a misdirected dream. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles is, is, is really just... 
giving me stability that wasn't that was like half cocked you know and perhaps you've been trying to rebuild that you've been trying to make it stable but it's just it's just it's just not even it's not been working it's not been making sense this could have something to do with your money um we have three majors here so this is not your fault I feel like I need to say that it's not your fault in in that, you know, you did something wrong. I think you were just trying to, you know, make something work that had so much against it working. There's so many majors here that are immature, that are unstable, and that aren't, like, mature right and with the five of pentacles here something could have just just not been made made sense so if you're someone who was dealing with somebody who had a third party here because a lot of third party images are current sort of coming up for me here um whether that third party was a physical person that existed in the current reality or was a thick you know a, a, a past relationship with somebody that situation was not going to be, it was, that was, just, that, my guy, that was going to be tough to navigate through what you've been focusing on, right? It would have been tough if that's your thing or finding out about it or knowing more about it would have been difficult. Um, and here, Spirit is sort of saying, separate yourself from that hearty stubbornness of, that one ring circus message, you know, trying to control the situation. And even with the Queen of Wands, that's control as well, right? Trying to not to ugh, try not to control the situation that is not for you to control or has nothing for you to really sink your teeth into. It may have been successful at some point, but it was a very short lived victory. Your guidance, my friend, is the mouse spirit here when it comes to what to focus on. Oh my god, shit. You know what? We didn't do what to focus on yet. <laughs> we didn't do what to focus on yet. Okay, so we're just gonna keep this pile. Oh, no, we could just keep those here. It's fine. I was so ready to keep it moving. I was like, I'm over this for my friend. I'm over this for pal one. I'm over it. Let's get to what to focus on. That was your guidance, mouth spirit. It says, tend to the small things. And she came up in the upright. I asked the deck when I was shuffling. I was like, hey spirit, can I have just upright animals, please? And 100% of the guidance have been upright. It doesn't matter too much in this deck, but it does tell me that like, spirit is with you and helping you through this process. For the highest good of my people here. Um, for the highest good of... I think, I think you shouldn't focus on whomever had shown you something. Um, I feel like you... It's almost like... No, I'm not going to say falling for a scam, but it's almost like you got you, someone showed you something and you thought, oh, this could be it, but it may not be it. It was a short-lived um, um, victory and it, it, it sort of is costing you more. Okay, uh, what should this person, what should Pi 1 focus on moving forward? We've seen where we're coming from. We've seen what, 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 what. But when it comes to moving forward towards their highest good, when it comes to moving forward to the greatest outcome for them and the world at large but for them really but you know we get it what should they focus on to get them to the highest good what should they focus on what is the thing to focus on to get them closer okay wow that's crazy um so this is a lot <laughs> I am going to move these guys over yonder, okay, um, and we're going to look at what to focus on here. 
which is the King of Swords, <laughs> the Empress in Reverse, and the Two of Cups in Reverse. <sighs> oh boy. <sighs> so, the King of Swords as opposed to the Queen of Wands. Now that is quite the juxtaposition. The King of Swords is an energy that is authoritative and decisive. He also has a sword. Swords cut through things quickly. <laughs> they don't hack at things like a wand would or a wood would. We have the Empress in the reverse and the Two of Cups in the reverse as well. So, definitely another message here that encourages separating from an idea, separating from a certain dream or wish, and focusing for some of you on your healing. Um, I'm going to clarify some of this because I need to see what's going on. Um, sorry, we had an interruption. Focus on separating yourself from what's no longer real what is in discord what is no longer present in your life that you may have wanted to be present this is tough honestly um focus on the fact that whatever has been dissolved in your life whatever you've had to separate yourself from um focus on moving away from that okay for some of you in a more specific way this is going to be a relationship for sure okay um <laughs> for sure and many of you don't want to hear this perhaps but cutting yourself away from a relationship that's not working, a dynamic that's not working, a dynamic that's not presently functional, um, to stop giving to it. With the Empress in reverse, I'm getting something that used to be fertile, that used to be good. It doesn't mean it d didn't need to be good, but it's almost like focusing on regrowing a new garden. I don't want to regrow a new garden. I know clearly for some of you you really don't because it's difficult to it's so hard to separate from people that we really thought there was going to be something there or we really still think excuse me that there's going to be something there but there's something here for you about separating yourself from that about freeing yourself from that and planting new seeds in your garden um about dissolving it and, and, and take, taking several steps away from the discord that's going on, from the infidelity that happened or the jealousy, the loneliness, the misunderstandings, and the unrequited love. And for some of you, this could just be in relationships, period. It may not be for one person, but relationships as a whole. And to invest more in with the King of Swords yourself, to me, the King of Swords is very, um, actually, in this dynamic, I'm not seeing the King of Swords alone. I'm seeing him just, I'm seeing him stop thinking about the stuff that didn't work out. I'm seeing him say, I have tried to be at the control tower. I have really tried to be at the control tower, controlling, you know, how controlling I can be over this relationship or how I want it to go a certain way or how I want it to be a certain kind of way or how it's not working how this person owes me this or owes me that just anything like that stuff to make it what you want it to be I'm seeing the king of swords kind of let go of the reins and just get up from his seat and going elsewhere that's what I'm seeing here for you as far as what to focus on, not the failed relationship, not the broken relationship, but to focus your thoughts elsewhere. <sighs> um, 
what else? In this Two of Cups, there's, um, it's a really pretty Two of Cups. I feel like for some of you, I don't know, it's not really, <laughs> it's not really that, but for some of you, there's a sense of healing that comes from realization. And, it, like, realization and acknowledgement suck. Like, this reading sucks for somebody out there. It sucks for me to give it. But, the realization and acceptance that someone is no longer yours, that that dream that you had, that vision that you had may not be a truth outside of yourself anymore, um, is painful, you know? But I'm getting a sense of eventually down the line it does help the healing because sometimes healing is painful you know like if you have a splinter you gotta remove the splinter out in order to begin the healing process so healing isn't always don't mistake healing for you know sunshine and daisy sometimes healing the land is burning it and letting the ash of what was before nourish the new seed at least I think that's what some farmers do or some areas do. You know, they burn the previous crop so that it dust to the ashes become um, nutrients. Something like that. So there's something here about cutting that. Cutting cutting yourself away and separating from, from these things. Um, clarify the Knight of the King of Swords for my person here. five of wands um this fell sideways so in this five of wands he's like everybody's taking a seat you know they just kind of gone okay well we're done i'm not fighting for this anymore i'm not investing in this anymore i'm done i can't do anything more in this we can't work together anymore you know we're done the project's done your guidance comes in mouse spirit. Tend to the small things, which I think is very um, apt here for what to focus on and how to help move you in this healing and separation from something that you desired, a partnership that you desired, a, a dream, a goal that you desired, um, something that you invested in that you kind of have to go... Put your hands up and go, okay, well, I'm just going to put this aside. I, I can't roll this boat anymore. This is how, this is the guidance to get you through that process. The humble mouse pays attention to the smallest details and the mouse spirit calls you to notice the nuances and the fine print at this time. In your eagerness to meet your goals and pursue your dreams, it is easy to forget the importance of clear communication and tending to the little things, including people's subtle signs that they are unhappy, as well as a small voice inside of you that says, this doesn't feel right. Wow, that's really apt. Right, communication. <laughs> I always forget S swords are communication. Take your time to sniff out what you need to know. Is there some detail or nuance about how you engage others or operate in the world that is key to your success, but you've too readily dismissed as nothing big or nothing special? Mouse spirit reminds you that what seems small may be important and powerful, may be more important and powerful than you think. So look again. Do not underestimate yourself or your potential for co-creating something amazing when you pay attention to the details. So for some of you, I think you know what that means. There's something that you're missing about how a dynamic isn't working in your world. And if you look at the small things, you'll be able to see that someone is unhappy or wasn't happy or you're unhappy that things aren't the way they need to be um and that might help coming um separate the separation process um for others of you uh just dwelling in 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 the fact that things are the way they are 
um, and relinquishing your control and doing the small things that you need to that you need to do to get through the day um, are what might be helpful. So what you need to focus on is, I think, cutting away what isn't working um, from how you go about handling things and be smothering things or um, being too attentive or not being attentive to the things that need to be attended to. Um, yeah, you've got your work cut out for you, my friend, if I'm connecting with a certain energy here. But for some of you, you this is old news. For some of you, this is old news and spirits reminding you that you're on the right path to separate yourself. You're on the right path to, to walking away from this dynamic or this situation because it's just, it's just doing, it's just not for you anymore. Oh, right. The five, the five of wands. It's just not helping you anymore. It's not doing you any favors. Um, we're serving you in the way that it could. So, um, find your freedom, find your peace in tending to the small things that you need to do, you know, until one day it won't be as impactful as it is today or the way it was. So I wish you everything, my friend. Keep your light on. Good luck. And I'll see you next time. Okay. Bye-bye.